Good afternoon to everybody. Now it's time to announce a new initiative of the Annalen Foundation to contribute to the 25th anniversary of the Barcelona process, which is called the Virtual Marathon for Dialogue. To do so, we have with us Dr. Nabil Al-Sharif, the Executive Director of the Annalen Foundation, Mrs. Ms. Cristina Mas, who has moderated the previous session, and she is a journalist specialized in the Mediterranean, and Ajara El Hawari, a young activist who is leading different projects and initiatives related to gender equality, both here in, in Spain and also in Morocco. Last year, in 2019, the Annaline Foundation bought the headquarters and the 42 national networks worked together very hard to organize the MED Forum 2020 that would take place in Croatia in April this year. I said would because of the pandemic, very sadly, the MED Forum has to be postponed, has been postponed. And Probably many of you know that the MED Forum is a unique platform that the Annaline Foundation organizes every three years that gathers more than 1,000 participants from, coming from the whole Mediterranean with very different profiles. Along three days, it is created a rich momentum of analysis, debates, exchanges, sharing knowledge and expertise focused on the different areas of the intercultural dialogue. Now, the Annaline Foundation is adapting all this work that has been done to mobilize organization, institutions, individuals, experts and activists engaged in our common values through this virtual marathon for dialogue. This is the general background of this session. And now, Dr. Nabil, could you explain the main components and formats of this virtual marathon for dialogue, please? Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Joseph. Uh, and uh, I'm happy really to announce today that the Canadian Foundation is launching the virtual marathon for dialogue as the main Annalen Foundation contribution to the 25th anniversary of the Barcelona Accords. With this initiative, we intend to give voice to our large network of civil society, cultural operators, opinion leaders, educators, think tanks and universities, partners, youth, men and women, to showcase a variety of cultural cooperation and solidarity initiatives in the Euromed region, as well as data and reflections on intercultural trends Further to promote intercultural dialogue for the future of social and cultural Euromed cooperation. Taking into consideration the symbolic and strategic importance of 2020 as the year of the 25th celebration of the Barcelona Declaration and the large mobilization made by the Annalen Foundation community in preparation of MED, uh, DF, uh, oh, sorry, of MED Forum 2020, which was planned, as Joseph said a little while ago, last April and which we had to cancel due to the 
outburst of COVID-19. We plan now to launch a series of celebration and mobilization activities of civil society, institutional representatives, young people and media, the academia also framed what we are but by what we are calling the Analyst Foundation Virtual Marathon for Dialogue. We speak of a marathon as a group endeavor that lasts over a certain period of time and where a common goal is set, but where each organization and individual can contribute at its own pace. The common goal is to show and call for the importance of dialogue and Euromed cooperation. To this end, we will offer a platform to analyze the implications for the future within the current context, but also to make even more visible the work for dialogue done at the institutional and grassroots level which is still known to the, which is still little known to the broad public. The Annalyn Foundation Virtual Marathon for Dialogue consists of a series of cultural activities, weekly webinars on main issues for the promotion of Euromoid cultural cooperation virtual trainings, seminars, exhibitions, debates led by the Annalyn Foundation Network and partners. The main component of the virtual for dialogue includes today's national launch event that we are proud to organize in partnership with IEMED as the head of the Annalyn Foundation Spanish National Network. The organization of a series of activities planned within the different programs of the foundation between September and December 2020, which will be the occasion to initiate a debate on the state and future of Euromed. The presentation of the Annalyn Foundation Civil Society contribution during the UFM Regional Forum between 25 and 27 of November in close coordination with the Secretariat of the Union for the Mediterranean. The launch of a social media campaign running through 2021 to broadly spread the messaging of the initiative and engaging large audiences and social media influencers with a specific focus on news. A traditional media campaign and coverage of the virtual marathon of dialogue activities at the Euromed Network. A programming Sorry, a program of virtual activities, as mentioned earlier, including regional conferences, workshops, exhibitions, trainings, and debates in the first semester of 2021 to be organized in coordination with the Annalyn Foundation heads of networks and network members, as well as some of our partners. Final regional outcome, outcome activity in Croatia in 2021, where we had planned to implement our mid forum 2020. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Nabil uh, Al Sharif, for this general overview. Now, uh, Christina, what do you think could be the potential uh, role of the media? 
in building bridges in this intercultural dialogue. Mm. If, if you could speak yes. very short. Yes, look, what I think is the, it, that we are really closer than, than when we think, no? Or we used to think, no? Just as a personal anecdote, when I went to Algeria last April, one year ago, in the middle of the process, the protest against the fifth mandate of Mr. Buteflika, uh, young people were shouting in the street a song. And they told me, someone, I asked, what are you shouting? And they told me, this is from the Spanish movie. And I said, which one? And they told me, La Casa de Papel. I've, I've, I didn't watch the movie at that time. I watched it when I w went back to Barcelona to understand what was going on. So I think that one of the, of the key aspects, it's, it's focusing the agenda in what really matters. And this is the role of the media because the framework, it's, it's very important. And, and, and you realize how really the same, uh, the same problems, the same travels, the same questions are being raised in the both sides of the Mediterranean. And people are finding common tools to, to try to organize themselves and, and to give an answer. So I think that the, really the, the, the media language, the media portrait, is not, it's not accurate to a reality which brings us closer than, than we think. Thank you very much, Christina. It's, it's true the media plays a lot of uh, a key role on, on this uh, issue. Now, Ajar. Uh, we have seen the media as an actor. What should be the role of, of women and youth to promote inclusion in our societies? Okay, I find this question pretty important. In first place, I would like to continue with, uh, with what my fellow Mohamed Amrani was saying before, and it's the fact that women are not objects of inclusion, but subjects of inclusion. Why? Because inclusion is not just a goal for a future, is one of the dynamics of interaction. And what does this mean? This means that women have to take an active part of it and have to take spaces of uh, socialization, labor, and making uh, every, every space that we have nowadays a little more diverse and uh, bringing alternative narratives and also our perspectives on uh, every single subject as women and also as part of like a more inclusive society. Regarding uh, ch uh, children, if we see like um, the um, different uh, demographic um, well, sorry. tendencies. See, the demographic tendencies for the future, we see that there are three main cities here in Spain that are really going to grow. One of them is Barcelona. So if we think now Barcelona is a plural city, in maybe 50 years, it will be even more plural. This is why it is important that children are inclusive and have this uh, really, uh, they have to approach differences from curiosity and not from fear. This is important because it, this is not just a social labor, it's also a um, self-esteem labor for these children because if they know how to approach other differences on other children, they will learn to approach their own differences as something positive and as, as something ne negative. Uh, as many of um, ch children that, are, that have uh, immigrant parents, we have felt different sometimes at school of at any space of socialization. And we thought this was something uh, negative or that we were less than others because we never uh, learned how to approach these differences from, from a positive perspective. Mm -hmm. This is why we need from now to um, teach how to um, see other cultures or other aspects in other children as something positive because if now we have a plural schools or we have plural kindergartens, we have plural um, uh, public student areas, in 15 years, this will be completely uh, uh, different and even more plural. So children need to, ha uh, need to be prepared for this scenario because um, as, uh, inclusive children are inclusive. As it means that we are going to have an inclusive future. Thank you very much, Ajar. We have uh, 
These are some of the subjects and approaches related to key intercultural actors as women, youth, or media. And even they are critical, they are also many others that are also important in terms of intercultural dialogue. This is my question to Dr. Nabil Al Sharif. The, what is the overarching uh, theme of this virtual marathon? And what topics will be tackled during this uh, uh, initiative? Uh, thank you, Sumi. Uh, the 25th anniversary of the Euromed partnership calls on all the stakeholders uh, committed to the promotion of cooperation around the Mediterranean to analyze the orientation for the future within the current context, but also to make even more visible the work done at the institutional and grassroots level, and this is known to be broad public. The program of the Analyst Foundation uh, Virtual Marathon for Dialogue, in answer to your question, will be developed around the overarching theme of intercultural dialogue for sustainable science, which is at the heart of the vision of the Annalyn Foundation for, next, for its next year of programming. The program will emphasize the relevance of intercultural dialogue for the sustainability of Euromed as an essential tool to ensure social inclusion, economic growth, environmental respect and sustainability, youth development and exchange, gender equality, and civil society empowerment. Also, in the moment of crisis brought about by the pandemic, our duty is to underline the importance of having society respectful of cultural diversity as an asset for the growth and will be. And what we need to continue fighting against any form of cultural prejudice and stereotyping, hatred, and hate speech, Islamophobia, racism, and anti-Semitism, and any other form of discrimination based on cultural or religious background of people. The Annalyn Foundation Civil Society Network Youth will be at the heart of the rethinking of the intercultural dialogue approach that the Island Foundation proposes as a basis for the growth of open and pluralistic societies in the euro region within the regional and world context characterized by the outburst of the pandemic, COVID-19, its consequences, and new recovery methods. Before presenting a brief overview of the, the three potential themes for the program of the marathon, I would like to express an important point that is at the core of this initiative. And it is this, that the virtual marathon for dialogue is a space to be shaped by the Annalyn Foundation Civil Society Network and that the Annalyn Foundation Secretariat will do its best to prepare this space and make it as welcoming, user-friendly, and safe space for exchange, but that the context, the format of the activities will not be determined by the Secretariat and the choice of the teams which will be chosen will also give us an important indication as to what priorities for civil society in the region area as of 2020 
which is 25 years after the launch of the euro partnership and 15 years after the creation of the Annaland Foundation. Briefly, in line with the Annaland Foundation priority fields of action, the results of consultation process carried out with the different stakeholders since the outburst of COVID-19 and as a potential area for further strengthen social and cultural relations across the region, we would invite the members of our national networks, our youth network, educators, media, uh, and regional institutions to propose activities to debate in to exchange practices around these themes or ideas. Youth exchange and mobility. New concepts for Euromed mobility and environmental sustainability. Media and social media to counter hate speech and stereotypes. Civil society exchanges and empowerment and new formats for economic development through social action. Culture, arts and translation, intercultural education, virtual exchanges and research, gender and combating gender stereotypes, intercultural cities and localized action for dialogue, digital tools, and virtual exchange for dialogue. Green recovery and post-COVID-19 crisis and international cooperation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Nabil, for this. We see that this uh, is a very broad, broader approach, as I said at the beginning. Uh, very holistic, as uh, uh, different subjects and different actors are going and conveying into the intercultural dialogue. My last question to you, who could participate in this uh, marathon? Yes. Very uh, short. Uh, is this for me? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, the Annalyn Foundation Virtual Marathon for Dialogue aims to be an inclusive initiative for the promotion of dialogue across the European region with activities that can take different formats. We have identified, first of all, the Annaland Foundation heads of networks and network members as the partner, partners number one for the organization of initiatives and to relay the messages of the marathon. So our heads of networks, our networks are partner number one. We have already invited the our heads of networks to be involved in the curation, in the creation and organization of specific activities and mobilization of network members. We count on inviting all the established Annalyn Foundation partners to join the marathon. And we would like to mobilize officially with the planned social media campaign among young people and social media influencers. I would like to conclude by making the first regional invitation on the occasion of the launch for organizations interested to plan activities for 2021 in the framework of the Annaland Foundation Marathon for Dialogue to start contacting the Secretariat to share their proposals. We will regularly share updates and more specific guidelines for joining the initiative via our website social media, and our network. Thank you all for your kind attention and commitment to the promotion 
Oriental Cultural Dialogue in the Euro Mediterranean region. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Executive Director. Indeed, the, the European Institute of the Mediterranean will participate actively in this, uh, in this regard, in this virtual marathon. And uh, we are uh, really, uh, it has been a pleasure to host this international launch of this virtual marathon for dialogue here in Barcelona. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Nabil Al-Sharif. Uh, thank you very much, um, Ajar. Thank you very much, uh, also, Christina. Now it's time to close this uh, dialogue uh, that has been very rich and very productive. And we have to go and to move to the closing session.